So today for the unit review, we're going to be talking about this. I think it's a prime battle. It's a prime battle, Gohan and Piccolo. I think it's a Gohan that exchanges into Piccolo. Um, I do not know exactly what they do. Uh, this is going to be my first time reading them. So I'm going, of course, cold turkey. Let me see. This is a prime battle, right? This isn't a prime battle. No, it's not. Yeah, why? Huh? No. No, Roshi's not a prime battle. Roshi's a World Tournament LR. Let me see his awakening real quick. No, I didn't get bamboozled, did I? Mm, come on, 70. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Okay, just being very sure. Um, so this is a summonable LR. Okay, yeah, this is not a prime battle. LR. Oh, okay, this is a summonable LR. All right, so let's talk about it, right? Within, of course, Scouter Vegeta Celebration. Okay, so, um, Tie Turning, Superpower, Gohan Kid slash Piccolo. So, of course, it's the exchange card. Plan Nemesis Saga or Master and Student Bond or just Bond a Master Disciple. Four key and one 50% across the board. And there's 12 key super attack, that being the Wild Rush Blaster. They stack attack and defense. And their 18 key super, that being the Full Power Masenko. They get 100% attack and defense in one turn. So, solid super attack effects, I would say. And their passive, Deadly Showdown on Planet Namek. 200% attack and defense at the start of the turn. They get 150% attack when performing a super attack. And they get three key and 30% damage reduction, as well as a 30% chance to crit and launch an additional attack that has a 50% chance to come super attack from three turns from character's entry turn. So the important thing to note there is the fact that they do have additional super attack chance to help them stack their attack and defense inside their 12 key, as well as them with that 30% damage reduction. And maybe that three key, um, because they get three key here, they get three key here and they get three key here. And what is their link set? Um, all in the family, cool. Same warrior race, ass. Um, Gaze of respect, good grants you can get off because it's two key and 10% attack and defense. Shocking speed, cool. Demonic ways, um, you're rarely ever going to get this link off. So just L, I would say. You're, yeah, it's like this link is almost a dead in the water link. Um, but yeah, it's going to be about that. Why didn't they just give them like the same lineage over same warrior race? I, I don't like we, we can. We can do without saying warrior race, right? For that 10% attack. Um, what's their stats rainbowed? Um, okay, yeah. Uh so yeah, we could have done without saying warrior race. Okay. Yeah. So back to the card. Three key and 30% damage reduction and a 30% chance to crit as he first attack in turn. Okay, nice. And three key and 20% damage reduction. A 20% chance to crit when there's another plan in Saga or Namekian's category ally attack in the same turn. And recovers 20% HP at the end of the turn. Okay. Okay, so this card can get up to granted within the right conditions, of course, within you being within the first three turns. You also being the first attacker in the turn and you having a plan Nemesaga slash Namekian's category character attack in the same turn, you fulfill those con those conditions and this character can get up to, that's nine key, <clears throat> uh, what's that, nine key, um, I think that's 80% damage reduction because that's 30, 30, that's 60, and of course the 20, yeah, that's up to 80% damage reduction, wow, 80% damage reduction, <clears throat> and that's, what's that, <clears throat> that's a... Is that an 80% chance to crit too? Oh, wow, this card can get up to 9 key, 80% damage reduction, and a and a 80% chance to crit. Okay, as well as additional super attack chance and recovering HP. Um, this card's not doing a lot. This looks like your run-of-the-mill stacker that gets straight to your exchange. Um, but it's this card's looking good. Up to the 80% damage reduction and <clears throat> And an 80% chance to crit. And granted, let's say this wears off. This card is still going to have up to 50% damage reduction. As well as a 50% chance to crit. Um, now, also, this card is going to be losing its additional super attack chance. But I would probably still say, I mean, card's still looking good. But this is technically one of those cards where this card has to be ran in slot 1. Because if you put this card inside slot 2, with their, with their uh, first 3 turn, uh, of course entry up um they're only going to have up to 50 percent damage reduction of course they will be solid with that but those three turns wear off and they're only going to be sitting with 20 percent damage reduction so this card really wants the first slot within those first three turns and with of her with of course um the the conditions fulfilled like you having to play a nemesis saga slash and making his character and of course you having um this card within the first three turns looking good yeah very standard card i'm so glad that they gave this card up to nine key this card needs it because this link set is just doo doo i'm just gonna call it just like what it is so it's like gazer respect of course this is meant for you to just have a piccolo right for the gazer respect 
all in the family grants you get like a little goku right next to you um shocking speed yeah shocking speed gaze respect would be like the main two keylings it's like saying warrior race we could have just this could have been saying the same lineage right or like demonic ways i get why demonic ways is there because of course piccolo's there but i whatever okay so their their base like for gohan gohan's looking he looks good i mean just that's really it wish it would have gave him 150 percent attack and defense when performing a super but hey um maybe um acts for too much right so the exchange condition exchange with another character activation condition can be activated when hp is 70 percent or less starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle or starting from the sixth turn from start of battle once only so you have to be below the hp threshold and fourth turn from start of battle okay um let's see what piccolo is looking like um so piccolo let's see um dope uh, card art by the way i i dig it uh so all right so he still stacks attack and defense and of course the super attack may have changed to hell's own plunge um so yeah yeah it's like let me go back on over to him yeah of course they, they both stack attack and defense yeah they pretty much have the same exact super attack effects so super attack effects do not change they don't the only thing that changes is the names of the uh of the super attack um uh, for the the super attacks like 18 key and it's like the feel the pain of the mechians <laughs> <clears throat> so anyways um the passive piccolo late to the battle eight key and 250 percent attack and defense nice still gets 150 percent attack when performing a super attack cool unrestricted 50 percent damage reduction unrestricted 50 percent chance to crit launches an additional attack that has a 70 percent chance come super attack just unrestricted love it because this card is a stacker and uh, this card also gets an additional four key and launches a guaranteed super starting from the turn in which this character receives an attack okay so this card is it gets gets free key and a guaranteed super starting from the turn this character takes just one attack wow okay so this card can do up to two plus super so far and when hp is 70 percent or more at the start of turn 20 percent damage reduction and uh, all allies get 70 percent defense so are we just going off of the the support train that faith trio is doing is like faith trio gets ridiculous support and revived a couple of units back into the meta and now we have this guy doing this now granted faith trio gets it pretty much within the the first damn turn um because of course this the support starts out in their base but the, you have to get to the exchange for this guy's support to activate this is very strong so that means if you're above the HP threshold to start a turn, which you're going to be, because Gohan is over here recovering 20% HP, which is something I should have noted again. Um, it's like you get to this part of the card and you just get this. And this card can get up to what's that 70% damage reduction, of course, in addition, because that's additional 20%. So up to 70% damage reduction, giving super class allies 70% defense. That is banana support and that is the reason why the faith trio is such a very very good card because they bring the team together like glue and when hp is 70 percent or less at the start of turn you have guaranteed dodge within the turn once only and from the character's uh, next attack and turn onward a 50 percent chance to dodge wow i really like that and recovers 25 percent hp at the start of turn this card is really good yeah above the hp threshold you have up to 70% damage reduction. Below the HP threshold, you're going to have your 50% damage reduction with, and with, of course, guaranteed dodge. And then from the next turn onward, you have a 50% chance to dodge. This card is very good. Very good. Strong support. <clears throat> strong defensive abilities to fall back on. Has up to two plus supers built into them. They have a 50% chance to crit. So you do not have to put crit chance into this card whatsoever because they have up to an 80% chance to crit inside Gohan. So but inside the pre stand, not the pre standby, the pre exchange. And then inside the post exchange, you have up to a 50% chance to crit. This card's very good. Good card. Looking very, very solid. I, I can't even hate that this card looks good. Um, now, what what would be the only thing that holds this card back is probably this card stacking. We'd have to see what this card looks like with, the, with their start of turn defense, like for Gohan in particular. Gohan is really... Okay, so Dokkan Info, could we go back over to Gohan, please? No? We can't? Okay, so Dokkan Info, Info doesn't want to work with me. So we could just talk about Piccolo. Okay, so... Um, uh, granted, I mean, you could get enough defense with Piccolo because you're still going to be stacking with Piccolo, right? You really want to build this card full additionals. Yeah, I think full additionals is the way to go. So this card can just continuously stack. Or, you know, if you want to go full dodge because, you know, there's a bunch of, you know, dodge. It's like dodge or or additionals. Now, back from the, over to Gohan. It's, I mean, even with Gohan start attack and defense, um, he only has 200% attack and defense here and then 150% attack right over here. And then he has no more stats in the rest of his passive yeah he's gonna be starting out very low on stats no um but his rainbow stat is 
almost at 14k it's like piccolo will be fine but hmm, gohan it's like he's gonna be a wall so that's definitely what covers him him being a wall covers him from not having you know too many stats um so yeah gohan this is a good guard good guard i feel like the lack of stats could probably hurt gohan and if you want to be greedy and try to go for more stacks with gohan i, I don't know i feel like this card's good good card um just a lack of stats for gohan but i feel like it's made up with the fact that this card can get up to 80 percent chance to curb 80 percent damage reduction up to nine plus key which this card needs because this link set is dookie and then of course we go over to piccolo uh let's go over to piccolo piccolo just absolutely everything guarantee dodge built in and after the turn he gets 50 percent chance to dodge uh what else he gets uh, up to 70 percent damage reduction and but he, of course he has a baseline 50 percent damage reduction the card's good that's i'm just gonna leave it at that um, so categories, Plan Amos Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, Hybrid Saiyans, Seekers of Dragon Balls, just, or just Dragon Ball Seekers, Goku's Family, Youth, um, Warriors Raised on Earth, which I thought is a better name than Earthbred Fighters, um, Rapid Growth, Bond of Parent and Child, Saviors, Entrusted Will, and Connected Hope. Best thing important is pretty much their, their T-War to their LR, or the Piccolo Exchange, which you're not going to be running double them because it's a Carnival, not a Carnival, it's a, <clears throat> it's a Gold Coin LR leader skill. So peace gone. Yes, he's gone. Um, probably not because you want this additional damage reduction. You have to run a Plan Amos Saga or Namekian's character. Um, Plan Amos Saga or Namekian's. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's see. So of course you you're not running either of these guys <clears throat> because this is the SSR to the LR. This is the TR to the LR. Um, so he's gone. It's like ah, it's like he's he's looking. It's like this card does want slot one. So ah, because they want the additional damage reduction. Okay, whatever, whatever. Um, this guy hell no, no, no. This guy, no? I don't remember what this guy does, though. I don't. Probably not. I don't remember. Yeah. Let me just... Real quick, going over to the Dokkan Hip website. What plan Namek Saga character's got a easy A? Uh, not Namek Saga. Not Namek Saga. Not Namek Saga. You are Namekian, though. You are Namekian. What team would you guys be on, though? Okay, so that's about it. <laughs> so, I appreciate the guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next video. And I absolutely love you all. This is AW Card. Join the 24 Discord server. The link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. Leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys. Peace.